Hello Tenno, Zelp here and welcome back. Today's topic is a fairly common discussion and it's not only applicable in Warframe but many other games in general. So let's solve it once and for all, which is better, building for critical or raw damage. Sadly, there is no one straight answer for this, it depends because of how critical chance and critical damage is a major factor in whether a weapon is viable for critical or not. And it really varies between different weapons and games. Keep in mind that we are not taking status effects and procs into account, although it is also a very important factor, especially in Warframe. If you are new here or in case you do not already know, identifying damage multiplier in any game is one of the key factors to maximizing your damage. For example, in Warframe, elemental mods multiplier are different with normal damage multipliers, mods like Serration, and it's different from faction mods like Bane of Grenier. If you have 20% increment of all 3 different multipliers, it will do more damage than having 3 20% of the same multiplier, or in other words, 60% of one multiplier. If you need more explanation on this, there is an older video at the description which you can check out where I basically built a damage rating calculator for Warframe and proved that Mesa's Peacemaker will actually benefit more if you do not use Hornet Strike on your secondary. Critical, as you may also know, is a separate multiplier, however the calculations is not as straightforward due to it only applies the critical multiplier when it does a critical, which is based on chance. If you believe in statistics, I formulated a simple way to turn critical chance and critical damage multiplier into a percentage damage multiplier that represents a value in which we can compare with. I have explained this before in my older videos and on Twitch stream and I will do so again one more time just in case you are new. So let's say you are shooting continuously non-stop, if you have a 25% chance to deal a critical damage, that means with a large enough sample size, 1 out of 4 attacks should cause a critical. The idea here is that if your normal raw damage looks like this, then you should have an attack sequence that looks something like this now with 25% critical chance. So if the critical multiplier is 2 times, this means that 1 out of 4 attacks will do 2 times as much damage, take the extra damage contributed by critical and distribute them equally among the number of shots in a sequence and you will have something new, an average value with a consistent increment which we can turn into percentage for our comparison and conclusion. And all I have to do is to come up with an equation that represents this. So now we know about the basic multipliers and even managed to make critical multipliers something comparable. But there is another multiplier that in some cases also cannot be directly compared as well. And that is fire rate. Hear me out. Now I know attack speed on melee weapons in Warframe doesn't make much sense because how fast you attack mostly depends on how the stand cycle runs. But if your attack speed also speeds up any animation delays, increasing your attack speed will directly increase the rate of which you finish a cycle which also directly increases your damage over time. Let me give you an example. If a section of the red bar contains 2.5 hits and the duration is 2.5 seconds, 4 of those bars will come down to 10 hits in 10 seconds. If this is a cycle, then you have 10 hits per cycle, which is also 1 hit per second. The damage per hit is not important because whatever value you place will still undergo the same multiplier I am about to talk about. If you are to take this series of attacks and increase it by 100% attack speed, you will be able to finish one complete cycle within 5 seconds instead of 10 seconds, which also means that you are hitting 10 hits every 5 seconds, and that will give you a DPS of 2 hits per second, so therefore increasing 100% of attack speed also increases your damage multiplier by 100%. However, that is not the case when it comes to shooting with a gun that requires reloading. This is because increasing attack speed or fire rate does not increase the reload speed. For example, if you were to fire 5 shots before reloading for 5 seconds, in a total duration of 10 seconds, 
your current DPS would be 0.5 shots per second. And if you increase your fire rate by 100%, you would completely fire 5 shots in 2.5 seconds instead of 5 seconds. Meaning in a full cycle of 7.5 seconds, your DPS is only 0.67 shots per second which is only a damage increase of 33%. So in this case, increasing 100% of fire rate only gives you 33% damage multiplier. And so if you want to include fire rate as part of your DPS optimization, you will have to consider reloading as part of the factor as well. So naturally, I started playing around with some spreadsheet and decided to make both critical multiplier and fire rate multiplier something visible for easy comparison, sort of like how split chamber is actually similar to a single 90% elemental mod. Over here is the spreadsheet of the uh, critical multiplier converter and also the fire rate multiplier converter. All you have to do is just put in the base stats of your weapon and then you want to put in how much you want to increase in terms of percentage on your critical damage or your critical chance. So for example, if you want to put in a point strike that gives you 150% critical chance, uh, that was going to increase this one which represents 100% to uh, 250%. So you're going to put here 2.5 and what it will pretty much do is it will calculate and come up with a multiplier value similar to that of the uh, elemental mods, the uh, bane uh, fraction mods, the uh, split chamber, your multi-shot mods, or the serration, the damage mods. And those values are really important because they are easy to compare. It's like for example if you have a weapon that has only one slot, like all the other slot is non-existent, you know better to not put in a 30% faction mod over something like a serration that gives you 165% because those values actually come toe to toe because they are separate multiplier. So here it's gonna convert all the critical into a separate multiplier that you can compare once again instead of giving you like a 50% critical chance which will not mean anything to you because it all depends on your base critical chance and your base critical damage because if your base critical damage is really low then it's not really gonna mean anything. Uh, I hope you know what I'm saying here so let's go on to the example. Here I have the stats of the Soma Prime and it's a critical weapon so if I were to put in a point strike which increases this to uh, 2.5 because point strike gives you 150% critical chance. Um, now you can see that your multiplier actually increases to a 56.2%. And what this means is that overall, your damage has increased by 56% or 56.2%. Um, and it's not a lot. So again, if you have only one slot left, you know that um, maybe a elemental mod like um, any elemental mod that has 90% element damage is going to increase your damage a lot more than this 56%. However, if you put in for the critical damage, let's say you put in vital sense, which is 120% if I'm not mistaken. So this will go up to 2.2 now. And that will increase your multiplier to 225, even better than putting on like two elemental mods, which only gives you like 180%. So this is basically what this does and it gives you a value that um, helps you see whether or not this is a good idea. With just two mods in, you increase your multiplier to 225%. Another one over here is the fire rate and it does the same thing. It comes up with a multiplier that you can see, something that tells you overall how much damage you are actually increasing with these mods. So I'm again using the uh, Soma Prime because it's also a auto weapon. It's really fast. It has a huge magazine size. Now I know we talked about how reload is part of the factor and it's only because there is this reloading time that the magazine size actually um, plays a role. So because if you think about it, if there is no reloading time at all, the magazine size shouldn't even exist because immediately when you run out of magazine, it's just going to top up like instantly. So it doesn't really play a role. But however, if reloading is there, magazine size actually also plays a role in your DPS because the larger your magazine size, that will actually 
increase the ratio between when you're firing and when you're not firing and that will also increase your DPS but it's not very significant and we're gonna see how much it actually helps um, so the uh, Soma Prime has a fire rate of 15 bullets per second uh, if I were to increase it with something like a speed trigger that gives you 60% attack speed so now this one becomes 1.6 you can see that you actually increase your overall damage by 44.1% and this is actually pretty good considering that it's a separate multiplier so if you have already increased your weapon with all the other multipliers that you want you can actually further increase it with this mod by 44 instead of using like a faction mod if you get what I mean because technically in this case the uh, speed trigger is better than a faction mod so if you only have one slot left you know what to do um, the next thing that I want to show you is the magazine now having 200 per, uh, sorry having 200 bullets in a magazine this is a really really large magazine size and you would think that having um, the uh, magazine increment things like the magazine wrap if I'm not mistaken that increases your magazine capacity by 30% it's gonna help it a lot but in this case you actually find that it doesn't it by increasing it by 30% it only increase your overall damage if you keep shooting it by 4.4 percent so it's not much it's actually toe to toe with reload and they are similar in a way because um, the again like I said the amount of magazine size you have actually just changes the ratio between when you are firing and when you're not firing so increasing your reload speed by let's say 30 percent is also going to increase your multiplier by 4.4 percent it's the same because instead of increasing the time that you're firing you reduce the time that you are reloading and the ratio will still be the same now next let's take a look at a different weapon let's say the dread okay so the dread has a 50 percent critical chance and it has a two times multiplier now to be honest damage doesn't matter the damage is only good because you can see things like your average damage but then when it comes to multiplier ratio uh, or I mean just the multiplier itself it doesn't play a role I can put here one and you'll still see the exact same figure because it's taking the before uh, and after damage and comparing it to come out with a multiplier uh, how much increment that you did in percentage so it really doesn't matter so I'm just gonna put this two as one for now and let's take a look at the dread so for the dread um, so again you can see it's zero but when you increase it with your point strike and if you increase this with vital sense you can see that the damage increase is 306 percent with just two mods you get 306 percent um, now the reason why I want to show you about the dread is because for Warframe it's a little bit unique whenever the critical chance go above 100% they have bonuses bonus damage um, and this is what's happening in a normal situation if you just use the exact same formula and calculate you're gonna get a multiplier of 250% but in Warframe it's different they have critical levels and you have entered critical level 2 so um, there is a bonus the orange crit actually does more damage than a yellow crit and things like that so all these things you can actually get the formula from um, the uh, wiki um, on top of that you also have to consider that the average damage is no longer taking the base damage as uh, part of your average and then you plus the extra damage is no longer that way instead now your base damage is all yellow crits so it has to be taken as a yellow crit damage so the calculation is a little bit confusing but um, it's there and you can go ahead and check it out let me know if you find any mistakes but from my testing it works so how and why do I have two of this one is more exclusive for Warframe which is this part and this is actually for any other game so let's say if your specific game which I believe most game might not actually give you an added advantage whenever you pass a hundred percent critical chance they might even have a cap on the critical to like let's say 95 percent or something so if you do not want your critical chance to go past a hundred percent because in this case you can see it's 125 percent all you have to do is this I'll come over here and press 
put in N, which stands for no, and you'll cap at 100%. So whenever your critical chance, for whatever reasons, go above, um, oops, sorry, that's too much. Let's say 1.5. Okay, you're gonna see that nothing happens, it's the same, but when it exceeds that limit, it will cap at 100%, so you'll still get a multiplier that is more reasonable, that is not like extra because of how the calculation is done. Fire rate for bows is a little bit special, so because they don't really have a fire rate value, instead they have something called a charge time. So uh, for bows, the fire rate is sort of non-existent, but you can't really put zero there because it's gonna mess up the entire thing. Instead, you have to use the charge time to come up with a fire rate value. So for a fact, I actually already wrote this down. The dread has a um, charge time of 0 0.5 seconds. So I made a small little charge time to fire rate converter down here. So all you have to do is just put in that charge time, which is 0 0.5 seconds, um, half a second to fully charge. And then you'll calculate and tells you that within one second, you can actually shoot twice. So this is the uh, fire rate of the dread. And then all you have to do is come over here and put in two instead. Now for magazine size for bows, it's always going to be one. So just leave that one. The reload speed, is also given so all you have to do is take a look at the dread the reload speed is 0 0.7 like that okay and then you should um, have all your states ready and then you can start testing let's say you were to put a speed trigger on so this will become increased by 60% you can see that overall damage has been increased by 18.5% instead of a speed trigger let's say if you were to increase the reload speed with fast hands that gives you 30% extra so this becomes 1.3 and then you can see that your overall damage increased by 15.5% so not a lot but again it's a separate multiplier and if you have everything that you want on and you have the extra slot, you can now determine what kind of multiplier or what kind of thing do you wanna add. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and work backwards and sort of find a base stat for the critical chance in which um, a critical build will be viable. So first of all, I have to determine what critical damage that I wanna have for my base stat. And I did find that majority of them is actually at a two times multiplier. So because of that, I'm going to use it as a fixed general two times multiplier. And then now I'm going to play with the uh, critical chance and try to find that range for a primary weapon to get a good enough multiplier. Now, in my opinion, uh, with only two mods, which is what we're going to test is point strike and also uh, vital sense. You could add in hammer shot and you just need to bump this value up to uh, 2.8 because it gives you an extra 60%. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just use two mods. Now, if two mods can get me about 150% multiplier, I think that's pretty good. That is as if you are using another extra split chamber and vigilant uh, amendments, um, which also gives you 150%. So that is pretty good. So it's like having two of those, but they are at a different multiplier. Okay, so that is the baseline that I'm drawing. If the weapon with a certain base critical chance can meet 150%, that is where I would probably go for a critical hybrid or at least have the, uh, the point strike and vital sense. Obviously, if you have 50% base critical chance, critical is definitely the way to go. What if you have 40%? So, okay, you have 214. So let's find that, that point where you get 150. Okay, really close. And let's try this. Okay, so it would seem like if you have at least 25% uh, critical base, it would be a reasonable choice to go for critical because it's gonna give you that 150%. Uh, critical multiplier but again it's very very subjective it's up to how you build and what you want in that build 
Now let me give you a good example where this doesn't really turn out the way that you want it to turn out. Now I actually started making this a while ago, like a few months ago, and a few months ago Xander from Zandy Pan's channel, he actually came to me and he told me about um, the Breton Prime. So over here is the Breton Prime, and he says that this weapon, um, he's been modding it with pure damage and also with critical. Although it's not very critical viable, but it seems to do more damage with critical. So the reason why it doesn't seem like it's viable for critical is because its base critical is only 12. So you go something like this. So having two mods on, which is point strike and uh, vital sense, you only get about 80% uh, multiplier. However, if you use that two slots for other things like for pure damage, you can actually achieve a much larger damage. But still, when you use critical, it kills enemies faster. So based on experience, he told me that the Breton Prime is killing faster with critical. So that is where if you take a look at the stats of the weapon, you realize that majority or at least 60% of the stats is slash and it also has a pretty high uh, status chance. And this is the reason why it's killing so much faster is because it's doing slash procs and critical will actually assist and bump up that slash damage unlike elemental mods and physical damage mods it doesn't actually increase the slash damage now i cannot say this for sure in the future but then as of now critical actually makes this weapon a lot better so as you can see there are conditions where different factors will come into play and actually cause more damage differently and it's not all about just the multiplier however if you do want to take a look at the multipliers this might actually come in handy now this is pretty much all i want to share and all i want to say um, i hope that if you're not the calculative type to see how damage actually come to be and stuff like that that this video could actually expose you to a certain like perspective of things um, and of course I hope they helped you in some ways currently I'm learning a lot about animation and I'm trying to make my videos uh, embedded with some animations as well so it's a learning process and it's taking a lot of time like like I can spend a whole day just to make a few seconds of a animation clip also because I'm so bad at drawings um, and not to mention because of the festive season those got them fireworks increases your overall damage by or dps by 18.5 uh, <sighs> percent happy new year Zelp. two hours later one eternity later why why won't they stop? Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you deem the content worthy. Click on the bell icon to get notifications when I post a new video and remember to share your thoughts down in the comments. There's a video in the description that tells you how you can win my glyph if you are interested. That is all guys, have a pleasant day. Bye.